how to find verified emails so that you can reach out to potential clients for your social media marketing agency. No, I don't waste no time. Well, what's going on guys and welcome back to a new video and like I said in the introduction today we're going to be looking at how we can find email addresses of potential social media clients that we can reach out to and how to make sure that these emails are verified so that you don't get you know bounced emails and get your Gmail and or G Suite banned. So first thing we need to do is obviously find ourselves some potential clients and the method that I'm going to use for that is called myip.ms. And for those of you that do not know what myip.ms is, it's basically a website where you can see how many other websites are hosted by the same uh, hosting IP. So for those of you that think, what is he on about? I'll just quickly show you guys. And um, you know, obviously this is a method that I've showed you guys a few times in the past. Um, you know, I think nowadays it is sort of common knowledge, uh, but back back in the day, you know, this was a quite a unique method and. Um, I'm actually the first person within the industry sort of to um, you know, show this method and uh, record a video on this method. You can look back uh, on my YouTube channel. I've got two. Uh, the, the first one was like from 2000 and 2018, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then I recorded like a newer version of it just with some changes and little things that I've noticed and sort of learned along the way. Um, but like I said, you know, still a lot of people do not know about this method. So um, you know, if you're new to this, if you're new to myip.ms, please leave a comment down below um, if this video actually helped you out. So what we've now done is we've selected um, Shopify as the hosting IP. And as you can see, these are all of the websites that are hosted by Shopify. And obviously, if you're hosted by Shopify, you are an e-com store. In this case, we have 283,489 records, which means that we've almost got 300,000 uh, potential e-com clients here um, in this basically file. Now, obviously, we've got the big boys on top. We've got Shopify, we've got Gymshark, etc. And there's no real point in reaching out to these guys because these are uh, very, very big. So what we do is we actually go to page 100 or, uh, I don't know, page 99, for example, because these stores are a little bit smaller, but still, you know, relatively large enough um, that they can afford Facebook advertising and a Facebook advertising agency. So as you can see, we've now got a list of how many is it? About 20, 30. Um, so we've got 50 or 49 websites here. Um, and these, like I said, these are still relatively big, but much smaller than those on page one. Now what we can do is we can just select this little icon here and it will go to the website. It does open it up in a new window, which is a bit annoying. It never used to be like this, but um, it, yeah, like I said, for, uh, or quite recently they've changed it to this. Um, and as you can see, you know, this is basically an e-com store selling um, knitting equipment or knitting gear, I'm guessing. I'll look into it probably in a second. Um, so let's just get a few little random ones. Um, what else have we got? Any worth mentioning or any that catch my eye? Um, we've got alexmill.com. Let's see what that is. That is a clothing brand. Fair enough. I'll open that one. And we'll do one more. Maybe a random one. Maybe something with coffee. If you can find something with coffee. Um, I'm guessing not. SkincareFillingPieces.com. That's actually a Dutch website. I'll, I'll open that one up as well. Um, these are big, so there's no point in reaching out to them, but just, just so you guys get a bit of an understanding of um, you know, what we can do. So the first thing we can do is we can scroll down to the bottom and see if they have an email that we can reach out to. In this case, they do not, uh, but we do, they do have a Facebook page and they've also got a YouTube page. I'll show you guys a quick hack as well. Um, We'll start out with Facebook. Let me just quickly log in. And then on the YouTube, sometimes they'll have like a section where you can reach out to them. In this case, you do not, um, which I didn't really uh, think they would anyway. And then in terms of Facebook, we can find the About section, which is here. And then scroll down. And as you can see, we've got a support at fillingpieces.com email address. So what I'll do is just open up a Google Sheets. And then what we'll do is we'll add that to the Google Sheets first. Um, and then if you can find a better email, then obviously we'll use that. So I'll just call this um, Outreach Email List YouTube. So what we want is we want the name 
um, or first name, preferably last name, um, email address, of course, and then website. Okay, in this case, we do not know the first name or the last name. The email address is support at fillingpieces.com. And then the website is fillingpieces.com. Okay, so that is method number one, is by using Facebook. Method number two is by using a free plugin called hunter.io. Yes, there is a paid version, I know that, um, but the free version does what it needs to do, basically. So as you can see, hunter.io has uh, pulled out a few email addresses that we can reach out to. We've got communication, press at fillingpieces.com. We've got human resources, careers at fillingpieces.com, sales at fillingpieces.com, and support at fillingpieces.com. So again, we aren't really any wiser because um, these are still relatively generic emails. Now, as I mentioned, this is quite a large um, Dutch store. I'm actually, I've, I've said that about three times now. Let me just triple check that it is, it is actually a Dutch store. Um, about, let's see, does it say anything about this story? There we go, story. This is a quick side note, guys. Doesn't say anything, okay, then um, if I'm mistaken, apologies. Um, let me just quickly, yes. Um, log in to LinkedIn and see if we can find these on LinkedIn. So, filling pieces. Yes. Okay, see all 70 employees on LinkedIn. So as you can see, we've got the founder. And then if we click on another plugin that I use, which is not Hunter.io, but Rocket Reach, we might be able to get his email address. So we found one email, add this person. And there we go, we've got Guillaume at fillingpieces.com. So if you wanted to reach out to Filling Pieces, um, mail.com refused to connect. I did not want it to connect. I just wanted to copy it. Um, let me see if I can try one more time. Rocket reach. Analyzing page. There we go. Okay. Now, do not click. Just copy. There we go. Okay. So now, if you wanted to reach out to filling pieces, we know. That the first name is Guillaume and the last name is Philibert Chin. Okay, there we go. Now, that is filling pieces. Uh, the next one was, what are these guys? Oh, Alex Mill. So these guys, um, never heard of these before, will do the same thing. So as you can see here, the first um, email that we found is help at alexmill.com. Um, and then if we use hunter.io, as we can see here, these emails are a bit more enticing. So we've got the co-founder called Katie Repet at alexmail.com. So again, Katie Repet, and then the email was, where is it? Katie Repet at alexmail.com. And then the website was alexmail.com. There we go. Okay, so that is basically how I uh, find emails for, you know, basically to, to reach out to these potential clients. So we start off on Facebook. We say what email is available in the About Us section. Um, prior to Facebook, we you know, quickly go over the website, but usually there won't be a real email there. So Facebook, look at the About Us section. Then I will uh, go onto the website and use um, hunter.io. If I can't find on hunter.io, I'll go to LinkedIn and use Rocket Reach um, and then from there, um, once I have the emails, I chuck them all into a Google Sheet, as you can see here. And now what we need to do is we need to reach out to these potential clients and ask them if it's okay to send a quick loom video. Now, for those of you that are in my coaching program, you guys know how we do this. We've got you know software that we use for this. Um, if you guys are just starting out and you don't have the, the uh, financial capabilities to invest into software, then you know by all means do this manually. Um, but one thing that we do need to all make sure that does not happen, you know, whether you are an intermediate, you're a beginner, you've got the software or not, is to make sure that these emails do not bounce. Why? Because if the email bounces and you know you're using Gmail or G Suite or whatever like that, um, then you will get a bad reputation within Gmail or G Suite and they can take down your account and then you've basically lost everything. So what we do is we use a software called Neverbounce. So let me just quickly go to Neverbounce and where is it? 
there we go, neverbounce.com. Free software again. Um, all you need to do here is just quickly sign up. I've already got an account, so I'll just quickly sign in here. Sign in, okay. And then from here, what we can do is we can upload the list that we've just created. So what I'll do is I will quickly save this as a CSV file. There we go. So it's called Outreach Email List YouTube. Go back to Neverbounce, add list. Click here, yes, and then just click on this one here and wait for this to load. Again, depending on the size of the list, obviously, you know, sometimes it'll take longer. Um, in this case, it's just the two emails, so it shouldn't take too long. And then the list should appear. There we go. So what we can do is we can analyze the list for free or we can clean the list, which is obviously a paid feature. For now, all we need to do is uh, analyze the list. If you like Neverbounce, um, then feel free to get the paid version. This is not a promotion or a paid ad or anything like that. Um, you know, just go to neverbounce.com. No affiliate links or anything like that in the description for this. Um, but click on Analyze My List. And then as we can see here, the estimated bounce rate is less than 1%. Congrats, this list may not require cleaning. So we know now that uh, this list is clean. So the emails on this list will not bounce. So, you know, we basically have um, the green light to reach out to these clients. And what we now do is we send them an email asking if it's okay to send a quick Loom video. Now, for those of you that do not know what to say in the Loom video, I have entire videos on this on my channel for free for you guys. So feel free to check those out. Um, and then the call to action of the Loom video is obviously to hop on a call. So the flow from start to finish is cold email. Mention that, you know, you took a look at the website, it looks good, but you've got some ideas for them. Then in the Loom video, the call to action, or basically, you know, you ask in the email, is it okay to send a quick video? Then when you um, are given the green light for the video, you send the Loom, um, just basically using the same formula and script as what I've used in the YouTube videos. And then from there, the call to action is to hop on a call. And then on the call, obviously the call to action is to see if there's potential for you guys to work together. And that is basically how we do it. That is how I still reach out to my clients. My preferred method of outreach is um, cold email outreach, as I mentioned, you know, we do have software for this to speed things up a bit. Um, quick example is we don't actually do this manually anymore. We use data miners to create entire lists for us. We upload that into our, um, we call it the hybrid outreach system. And then from there, we reach out to potential clients. Um, and then as soon as we get all the replies in, we send the looms and so on and so forth. But anyway, I uh, hope you got something out of this. Hope you found this video viable. As I mentioned, you know, for a lot of you guys, this will be common sense because I've done a few videos on this uh, you know, like this in the past. But, you know, if I've helped anyone out with a video like this, you please just leave a comment down below just so I know that, you know, these videos are helpful and, you know, there's a point to me recording this. Um, but for now, I'm going to wrap up this video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you need any help with, um, you know, reaching out to these clients, selling these clients, uh, actually getting results for these clients, I do have my own coaching program. If that sounds interesting to you, then what you can do is click on the link in the description box down below. We can hop on a quick call, quick 50 minute, just light call uh, where we basically just get to know each other um, because it is quite an intense program, you know, a lot of one on one. And, um, you know, I'll basically ask you, you know, where you're currently at, where you're aspiring to go to. If I think we are a right fit for each other and if you're a right fit for the program, I'll offer you a place in the program. If not, no hard feelings. Uh, we've both just made a new friend within the industry. Um, but I get, I'm again, I'm not on here. Uh, I'm going to wrap up this video here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.